Quincy Hall pulled off a dramatic come from behind victory to secure gold in Wednesday's men's 400 meter dash. The gold isn't all of it. He was also the first American to win Olympic gold in the 400 since 2008, and his time was the fourth fastest. That's Quincy Hall for you. He had a goal and he worked hard towards attaining it. Winning an Olympic gold is never easy, even for the most hardcore of athletes. But that's what makes a win so much sweeter. The same goes for Quincy Hall. Even from the start, he was determined to conclude the 400 meter event in his favor. Translation, he will cross the finish line first. That means that even while still on American soil for the Olympic trials, he was driven to be at the top. Basically, he started this year's Olympic journey when he separated himself from the pack at the 2024 US Olympic track and field trials to solidify a spot to represent his country in Paris. Once there, he unleashed his full potential. In the preliminary heats of the 400 meters, Hall recorded a time of 44.28 seconds. His performance placed him among the top qualifiers, securing his advancement to the semifinals. Hall's time was the second fastest overall in the heats behind American Michael Norman, positioning him well for the next round of competition. In the semifinal, the South Carolina All-American ran a 43.95 second race, cruising to another win where he once again appeared to not need to sprint down the stretch. And so, with that, Hall had a shot at gold in the final. He had a chance and he grabbed it with both hands. Not literally, of course. It was as wide open a 400 meter race as the Olympics had seen in years. But judging by his breezy performances in qualifying, American Quincy Hall appeared to be the favorite before the final began. Running out of lane 8, Hall seemed to barely get out of a jog during qualifying for this race and felt likely to challenge for a new world record. After the gun sounded, a massive roar from the Stade de France crowd was heard. Notably, Hall, who was in lane 8, trailed the others through most of the race. Quincy Hall laboring, and it is Matthew Hudson Smith. Just when everybody thought that it was going to be Matthew Hudson Smith of Great Britain who would take the win, Hall made his move. In the final meters, Hall overtook Great Britain's Matthew Hudson Smith in a thrilling finish, beating the team GB runner to the line by 0.04 seconds. Richards, here is a closing burst by Quincy Hall at the tape. Hall is going to get it in 43-40. When asked later what was going through his head as he was trailing his competitors to the finish line, he admitted, I was just thinking, get home, sir. Get home, sir. It was an incredible moment for the American, who ran a personal best and led for only a tenth of a second in the race, leaning across the finish line to take the gold from Hudson Smith. Zambia's Muzala Samukanga took the bronze. Hall then rang the victory bell at the northern end of the Stade de France. He goes fourth on the all-time list behind Van Nieker, Johnson and Reynolds. He rings the bell on his arrival. He then went for a shoeless victory lap around the track to massive cheers. This means a lot. I've been putting a lot of work in. I told you guys I was going to get a gold medal this year, and I guess I just showed you I did it, he said. A lot of work, being hard on myself. I've been talking to my coach on the phone, and he just told me, keep going, keep going. His secret? He never gave up. I just grit. I grind, he explained. I've got determination. Anything I think will get me to that line, I think of it. A lot of hurt, a lot of pain. I just won. It's over. For the next four years, I can say I'm an Olympic champion. For the almost Olympic champion, as he was in the clear lead for a hot minute there, Hudson Smith admitted that he too thought that he'd win the race. When it was too late, he said of when he knew Hall was coming up behind him. I thought I had it. We knew coming into this that it was going to come down to the last 50 meters. He added, there's only going to be one winner. He's a better man. I can't complain because I ran the fifth fastest time overall. I always say, if you want to win, you've got to take it from me, and he did. I'm going to lower that time. It's just the start. After seeing this, it's easy to see that he meant what he said about accepting the results of the race. He instead had to settle for silver in a European record of 43.44.
Although Quincy Hall considers himself a dog, doesn't make him unique among athletes in the 21st century, especially millennials. What separates him? Who won gold in the 400-meter dash at the 2024 Paris Olympics from the rest of the so-called dogs is that he means it quite literally. He recalled that while he attended College of the Sequoias Community College in 2017, that's where I feel like I found myself being the dog I say I am, he said. There was no cafeteria, no free housing. He had two jobs and paid for school on his own dime. Everything you do, Hall said, you have to do it yourself. So he did. Can't outrun a dog, Hall said after his thrilling comeback victory, which he finished in 43.40 seconds, a personal best and fifth fastest time in the event. The dog will chase you forever. Christopher Bailey, Hall's American teammate, who finished sixth with 44.58, echoed the sentiment. He's a special human being, Bailey said. He's a good person, and he really deserved this. He does, really. Case in point, Hall is the first American since LaShawn Merritt in 2008 to capture gold in the one-lap race. That's not all. The scary thing about Hall is his inexperience in the race he can now claim to be the best in the world at. The Paris 2024 title was his, 16 months after he had committed himself to the Open 400, after making a career of focusing on the 400-meter hurdles. Those 16 months saw him go from a hurdler who was falling short of making it to the international stage to a world bronze medalist, and then an Olympic champion. So what does that gold medal mean to him now? This doesn't mean nothing, it's just a credential to my success, he said but this doesn't define who I am. He explained that the gold meant that he did a little bit of his job. Notice how he used the word little. There's an explanation for that. If I say the job is finished, that means I'm done running, but I'm not done running. I wanna get a world championship gold medal next year, and I wanna get another Olympic gold medal in 2028, so I wouldn't say my job is finished, but I'm doing my job right, that's what it means. Nevertheless, Hall is just getting started, but that doesn't change much for him either. He's still Quincy from Kansas City. I'm one of the most humble, caring people, he said. I don't let this gold medal right here get to me. I'll still sign an autograph, take a picture, show up to small events. He may still be all that, but he has to be wary of Matt Hudson-Smith. After the race, Matthew Hudson-Smith made a bold statement, acknowledging the USA's Quincy Hall indirectly who leads the world with a time of 43.40 seconds. Hudson Smith declared, I want to consistently be one of the best ever. My ultimate goal is to win Olympic gold and to be mentioned alongside legends. I won't consider myself among the best until I secure that Olympic gold and possibly break the 43 second barrier. The 400 meter obviously has a heated rivalry, at least on the track. Watch this to see what has been going on post Olympics.